More than half of the memos fired FBI Director James Comey wrote during his private conversations with President Trump have been determined to contain classified information. FBI policy forbids any agent from releasing classified information or any information from ongoing investigations. All records created by agents during official duties are also considered to be government property. The Hill reports. More than half of the memo's former FBI chief James Comey wrote as personal recollections of his conversations with President Trump about the Russia investigation have been determined to contain classified information, according to interviews with officials familiar with the documents. This revelation raises the possibility that Comey broke his own agency's rules and ignored the same security protocol that he publicly criticized Hillary Clinton for in the waning days of the 2016 presidential election. Comey insisted in his testimony he believed his personal memos were unclassified, though he hinted one or two documents he created might have been contain classified information. But when the seven memos Comey wrote regarding his nine conversations with Trump about Russia earlier this year were shown to Congress in recent days, the FBI claimed all were, in fact, deemed to be government documents. Four of the memos had markings making clear they contained information classified at the secret or confidential level, according to officials directly familiar with the matter. A spokesman for the FBI on Sunday declined to comment. Congressional investigators had already begun examining whether Cummings' creation, storage and sharing of the memos violated FBI rules, but the revelation that four of the seven memos included some sort of classified information opens a new door of inquiry into whether classified information was mishandled, improperly stored or improperly shared. As TGP previously reported, Fired FBI Director James Comey told the Senate Intel Committee that he asked a friend of his to leak to a memo he kept regarding his conversation with President Trump to the press. Comey admitted this after Senator Susan Collins asked him why he kept the memos. She then asked if he ever shared any of them outside the DOJ. Daniel C. Richmond confirmed to the Washington Examiner that he was Comey's friend at Columbia. He has been referred to in the New York Times as a longtime confidant and friend of Mr. Comey's, and his bio at Columbia's website lists him as an advisor to FBI Director James B. Comey. Chris Farrell, Director of Investigations and Research for Conservative Watchdog Group, Judicial Watch spoke with Fox News' Lou Dobbs about Comey's testimony following his hearing. Farrell also told Dobbs that Cummings' home should have been raided because his notes are property of the U.S. government and that he had absconded with them. This admission today is stunning. I would argue that Mr. Cummings' notes are property of the United States government and that he has absconded with them. Frankly if I were Attorney General, about 20 minutes after his confession today in front of the Senate Intelligence Committee, Deputy U.S. Marshals would have raided his home and office as well as Mr. Richmond at Columbia Law School. Those records and documents must be recovered. Mr. Cummy had no business releasing them. It's an extraordinary admission on his part. It's lawless. We wonder why we have leakers in the government when the FBI director is playing these little games for political points or because his tender ego is bruised. This is outrageous. He took an oath to the Constitution and he's betrayed you it in no uncertain copies terms. copies of your memos to anyone outside of the Department of Justice? Yes. And to whom did you show copies? I asked, um, the President tweeted on Friday after I got fired that I better hope there's not tapes. I woke up in the middle of the night on Monday night because it didn't dawn on me originally that there might be corroboration for our conversation, there might be a tape. And my judgment was I needed to get that out into the public square. And so I asked a friend of mine to share the content of the memo with a reporter. Didn't do it myself for a variety of reasons, but I asked him to because I thought that might prompt the appointment of a special counsel. And so I asked a close friend of mine to do it. And was that Mr. Wittes? No, uh, no. W who was that? A good friend of mine who's a professor at Columbia Law School. Let's make this go viral. Share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what else you think. And don't forget to help support us by subscribing and joining us on Patreon, by clicking on our Patreon link in the description box down below. And don't forget to hit that donate button in the description box down below.
Also don't forget to check out our all new website with much more content than on our YouTube channel. If you are seeking the best in facial and clear skin regimens and products and so much more including an opportunity to earn residual income, please visit our partner at naturalbeautythatsyours.com. The link is in the description box below. Let the world know your thoughts on this story. The Gateway Pundit helped contribute to this report. Thanks for watching and goodbye from all of us here.